This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. For the first time in the Midnight's tenure in JCP, the top talent was openly hot about the figure it reported. And speak of the devil. Mm-hmm. What kind of psychos? Dusty Rhodes and Magnum T.A.R. Everybody saw him come out here last week. Mass over their face. The James gang embarrassed my men on national television. A swindle, a cheat. And now the latest thing they perpetrated. You know you know what it was, Tony. I want everybody all over the country to yep. see the latest thing that the James gang perpetrated. Show that tape right now. Take a look at maybe Fighting one of the worst Yara nights of your life. A fat pig. Whoa. Houston. Now that was that was that was the scary. Was around it? my neck, tied into the truck. Who knows what they would have done to me if Bobby and Dennis hadn't got there to save me? What kind of psychos are they? Let me tell you, it's fighting for the honor of baby dog who's nothing but a fat pig. Jesse Rose, this mm. ain't the old west. This is modern times. You can't get away with stuff like that. My mother was horrified when she saw it. She came down, spent three days putting Vaseline on my rope burns. The old deer can't take too many more shots like that, Tony. Do you realize what that could do to her? She was upset. Bobby and Dennis were upset. Let me tell you something, Dusty Rhodes and Magnum TA. It's plain as the nose on his face exactly who you are. You're not the James gang. You're America's team fighting for that fat pig baby doll. And baby doll, I ain't forgot about you yet, darling. Before I'm finished with you, you're going to be out of this business. You're going to be a fat, unemployed valet with Sealy Posture Pedic tattooed across your back and if you want to play that way dusty and ta these men are more capable of doing the same thing so you just be on the lookout that something bad don't happen to you the greatest team in professional wrestling lover boy dennis beautiful bobby the midnight express what about it what do you think of that angle uh pretty intense man david yeah. <laughs> oh my go. god he was so excited and i love when you said go ahead david <laughs> go ahead david <laughs> <laughs> you've got my permission it's go my on. it's my great honor david to let you run away i'll hold down the fort <laughs> Everybody with a lick of sense knows that the James boys were Dusty Rhodes and Magnum TA. I have written a letter to NWA President Bob Geigel, the Fred Mertz of professional wrestling. I want the decision of the match reversed. I want a number of actions taken. And I want Jim Crockett out here right now, just like I did last week. But I expect quicker action. I want the decision that match last week reversed. And the Midnight Express, yes, I am. And the Midnight Express declared the winners because the James boys were a couple of phonies. Okay, Jimmy Crockett, thank you for I coming you out. Thank you very much. Week. Jim Crockett. Bob Geigel. I'm sure you've gotten a copy of it or some kind of statement about it by now. I want to hear your reaction. Yes, I got a letter from Bob Geigel. And? And? Well, I'm sure he didn't say Merry Christmas. What did he say? Well, he said uh, the victory by the James boys will stand. 
unless unless you can prove unless you can prove that it was dusty and mad. How much more proof do you need? You couldn't hide those bodies with a burlap sack. I guess you'll have to take the mask off. But as far as I'm concerned, it was the James boys. Okay, okay, okay. I can see Jim Crockett Promotions NWA ain't gonna do nothing. We gotta do it ourselves. Okay. They want the mask. Dusty Rhodes and Magic PA, we're gonna rip those black hoods off your faces and show everybody just exactly what kind of fraud you are. And then I'm sure that I will be able to get Bob Geigel or some other reasonable person in the NWA to suspend you, to find you, maybe to ban you from wrestling for once and for all because you're nothing but hoodlums and you shouldn't be involved in a sport as great as this with great men like these and remember baby doll i can lick you any day of the week the world <laughs> tag team champions the midnight express when we come back the world champion rick flair arn anderson the world tv champion and much more don't go away let me just go ahead and give you a, a spoiler tony okay next time you're backstage in aw <laughs> and you're you're carousing and it looks like things are going to get violent mm -hmm. don't you dare you think you're gonna have to throw down and you know have a fight with rebel or reba don't you mm. say i could lick you any day of the week because that don't does worry. not mean what you think it means don't worry i have a feeling jim Cornette knew what he was saying with that word of course i mean he, he said on tv in front of you once those are the whitest teeth i've ever come across <laughs> something like that yeah like, god damn it <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> We don't deserve Jim Cornette, by the way. No, you're right. You're I mean, right. I, he, he, and I, listen, I know he's controversial and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Forget all that. That yeah, on, ex Exactly. On camera performer. Mm -hmm. He's got to be on the Mount Rushmore. Yes. I, I came up, I, I mentioned this before when I was working for the radio station here in Atlanta, I came up with top five because they love list on online top five interviewers of all time. He's on it. Yep, he was numbered. I had Flair one, him two, Arn three. Uh, and I'm not so sure, maybe Roddy Piper four. Um, but now that I'm watching all this, as much as I love your father in law, I'm oh, not so sure. I'm I, it's Cornette, yeah. Cornette's the MVP. Yeah. I agree. These and, days, you know, you couldn't have that conversation without talking about Paul Heyman, but Cornette ooh. was just on another level back in this day. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.